Hi guys, it's Ellen and today I have a new journal spread to share with you. In this uh, video I'm using Tinchika Designs Thistle Tags, um, so these are available in her Etsy shop which will be linked below. Um, and this is my first page in my new junk journal, so if you want to see a flip through of my previous junk journal and um, a little collage in this journal then it will have been my junk journal video before this and um, so if you look back on my channel you can find it there. In this spread I'm journaling about a toilet makeover that we did at my local pub and um, so it's sort of a mother-daughter project and the toilet that me and my mum did was nautical themed so I'm trying to mimic that in um, the mixed media that I'm adding onto the tea stained paper on the left hand side so I had a wave um, style stencil that I uh, just passed some blue distress ink through and then I've just added a few um, different stamps just to make it look sort of old and nautical and I um, also added a music stamp as well because um, one of the tags that I'm using has um, music notes in the background. So. And then sort of mim mimicking the same design onto this tag from the Thistle Tag collection um, and I'm inking all around the edge with um, a blue distress ink and also um, walnut stain distress ink as well and then I'm taking that around the whole page too. Um, I'm then going to distress the edges of the tag before I stick that into place so I want this to go on the right hand side of my spread um, so onto that black and white pattern paper. So I'm just using some PVA glue to stick that down into place. Um, this is sort of just going to be a um, design piece. Um, I'm not doing anything with this tag, it's just to look pretty. Um, I wanted to create a tip in so I would have some extra room. So I have this um, old map picture which I thought would go with the nautical theme. And I'm sticking that onto some really, really old vintage book paper um, on the other side. I've just stuck it with glue because I'm actually going to sew around the edge of it. I'm going to hand stitch. So I've just taken my pencil and ruler and I'm just drawing a rough guide to where I want to add my stitching on it. And you can see here I've gone with a nice light blue thread so it matches the stenciling that I did on the background and just messily stitched all around that page. I then want to decorate it with something and I thought I was going to use another one of the thistle tags but I end up placing that somewhere else. Um, so that's what I'm cutting out here. I thought, yeah, I thought I would stick that onto the back but I realised that I wanted to add something else on the back. So, um... In the toilet design that we did we had a large wool sticker that was um, nautical themed and it came with a sample piece which I'm sticking onto the back of that tip in there and um, so I thought that would be really cool to add um, so I just used gel matte medium to stick that down and then I've got a photo of the wool sticker on the wall and I'm going to add that onto the tip in as well so you can see what it looks like um, in the actual toilet and then just using some wide washi tape to stick that tip in into my journal on the left hand page. Um, and I don't really do too much more to the tip in, uh, I leave that as is for the moment. Um, other than distressing all of the edges again with the walnut stain ink. Um, I then took a label sticker and stamped the word makeover on it. I'm going to add that onto the tag that's on the right hand side. Um, and I just put some washi behind it to add a bit of interest. I've then got that tag that I cut out before and I'm backing it onto some um, vintage style paper. It's sort of blue and vintage so I thought it went really well. Um, and I'm going to create that as like um, a flip out piece as well. So I'm just inking around all the edges with walnut stain once again. And I'm going to just add some washi tape to the bottom of the tag. Um, so it can flip out. Again, this just gives me more room to add all of my elements in because I have quite a few photos from this layout. I'm also using some blue washi just to um, highlight the blue colour a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to use some washi tape to decorate the tag on the right hand side of the page as well. So I've then got all of my photos from this day. Um, I've got some sort of like progress photos and some of when it was all finished so I'm just backing those onto various pattern papers that match ready to stick into my journal. Thank you. 
So I have two progress photos that have stuck underneath the um, flip out tag on the left hand side and I just took another one of my label stickers and just put progress on them so I can remember that isn't actually how I left it, that's um, halfway through having them finished. Um, and then behind that uh, flip out tag I'm adding some more photos and I'm also going to add my journaling on the bottom of it so I do that off camera quickly. Um, but it just explains the day and uh, what we were doing and this actually took me more than 20 hours to decorate this very very small toilet cubicle um, but it was worth it in the end I think um, so I just journaled about that So I have some tiny word stickers from Coco Vanilla that I'm just sticking over some of the photos. I'm adding more washi. I've also got some clear stickers from the Coco Vanilla collection that worked really well. Um, and yeah, that's my page all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Tinchika Designs. She'll be linked below. And as always, thank you very much for being here. Bye guys. <laughs>